Welcome, Dr. Mandel with you. I have a great video I want to share with you. I think you'll really enjoy this. Uh, many of you who are suffering with chronic neck ailments, uh, migraines, headaches, tinnitus, vertigo, uh, decreased mobility, realize you have to look back at what you've been doing all of these weeks, months, and years, uh, looking down, texting, forward head posture, rounded shoulders, putting extreme stress upon those joints, affecting the disc, the nerves, and obviously the neurological components of why you're feeling what you're feeling. So let me just go over briefly what our mission is. Real simple, here is the side view of the spine, here is the atlas up here, the top vertebrae, uh, and obviously most of our mobility comes from up top. Now here's the base of the skull. I'm gonna put the base of the skull on top and if you notice when we turn our head like this, just watch how much mobility we have up top. Uh, usually the areas that have the most mobility have eventually the most stresses. Those muscles, those ligaments, and those nerves uh, can be and probably are affected that are overlooked in quite a bit through, uh, we'd say, the medical end where people are not picking these conditions up. So I'm hoping that this will make a tremendous change with you. But what we're trying to accomplish we're trying to accomplish mobility in the atlanto-occipital joint. Uh, here is the occipital on top. Here is the atlas, the atlanto-occipital joint. That's the joint that generally should have mobility, particularly in anterior glide. See this, this motion right here? This is the mobility and the motion that we should be having. This is our exercise that we're going to increase this motion here. Now realize this is probably the most vital part of the whole component of the neurological system because this is the bottom of the brain stem that comes down to the second vertebrae here. Uh, we have cranial nerves that affect back into the face, uh, like you know the muscles, the eyes, it affects everything. So this is really exciting for anyone who has any type of neurological component in the face, the head, the neck, the ears, the nose, the sinus. This can hopefully do miracles for you. I've seen it in many, many, many people and uh, hopefully you'll be another one. So. Let's go right to the technique. Realize that uh, the base of the skull is the back of the lower part of the occ occipital area. And our objective here is that we want to take our hands, put it on the top of the crown of the head, but more towards the back, just like this with our thumbs like this. And our objection here, our objective here is to, when we push down like this, we want to get that glide up on top. We do not want to push our head forward. We do not want to extend our head back. We just want to keep our head up and we want to uh, push down and forward. Okay, you'll feel. Now relax the neck when you do it and you're going to say, wow, that feels so weird. I'm actually feeling this joint right here. I'm feeling this joint really start to glide like this. I didn't know it can glide like that. Well, yes, it can. So if I come from the front view here and I'm relaxing neck, I'm going to push down and forward. But don't push hard, it's just a, a motion. As you push, the, the, the joints will glide by themselves, so you need to really relax those neck muscles. Watch here. Just a little bit. See that? Now you can put your fingers, your thumbs back down lower and you'll feel where it's gliding for side view. Okay? As I do that, it's gliding. The back of the skull is gliding over the atlas and it's actually putting that mobility in that area to free up adhesions. That is the key here. We're looking at adhesions, which is scar tissue. We're looking at muscles that are contracted. We're looking at those areas that are inflamed, affecting those neurological components, affecting your particular symptoms. I really hope that this will make a huge change for you, but you can do this you know, several times a day. It's not gonna hurt you. You can do it 30 seconds, 60 seconds at a time. Do it periodically. There is no harm. It's something that's going to increase mobility, but remember, the, mo the, the force that you're putting behind this is gentle. Just pushing down and forward, just like this. Little, little pushes like this. So when I push down, bring your head back, push down again, and you'll feel right underneath that skull, that, that area start to glide. Now, when you first do it, you may say, wow, I'm not getting a lot of motion there. Keep doing it because it will eventually start to release. And once it releases, you start to get back your function because remember, cause and effect for every effect, there's something causing it. So instead of you just working on those anti-inflammatories, muscle relaxers, painkillers, those uh, uh, other medications that just make you out the lunch, 
Let's allow the body to do miracles. And I believe this hopefully can help you. Great self-help videos like these, as well as cutting edge nutrition. Check me out, Motivational Doc on Facebook. I ask you to please leave whatever reviews you can. Uh, and I wanna thank you, uh, my subscribers or just my viewers. Upon your reviews, they've been really beautiful. But tell the truth, uh, most important uh, blessings to you and your family. Uh, make it a great day. Bye-bye now.